G'day folks. Well, these two chillers are ready for disassembly. Uh, as you can see, it's very windy out here, but I'm going to try this anyway. I've got a nice bottle of R22 Reclaim. This one here I haven't reclaimed yet, I want to try and run it, but the other ones are pretty much toast. This one here is R407C, which is an unusual mix. I think it's a mixture of R32, R134A, and something else. Can't quite remember, but it's an odd one. There's about three kilos in there, at, if not more. And that came out of that one. Uh, R407C is a bit of an odd refrigerant. I really don't know what I'm going to use it for. R22 is always handy, but 407, not so much. But yeah, the system's been recovered, and I've disconnected the compressor with the pipe cutter so the compressor and everything come out and I'll just go through and strip everything else same with this one pipe cutter it's nice nice Copeland scroll but I can't really run it under load I don't have a uh, three-phase power supply strong enough so yeah that will come out base pans plastic too <laughs> flimsy crap a phase monitor in there that will shut down the uh, controls if the phase rotation is not correct if you run a scroll backwards it kills it so the phase monitor is a safety thing if you wire the phasing incorrectly it will not even light up the display panel which is that I do have a lead on the display panel, but it doesn't really do anything. It just shows some of the codes, fault codes, because there's nothing connected. And that one... It still works fine, but not sure what I'll do with it. I'll, I'll end up dismantling it, but for now I just sort of want to run it. I just need a pool pump and a uh, big tank of water. <laughs> Yeah, refrigeration stuff's always fun. Except when it's windy. But yeah, there's a lot of R22. <laughs> Not sure what to do with the R407C though, that's an unusual one for me. R22, one, or not even 134A, it's 22 is the only stuff I've got. I haven't had R12 for a long time. Certainly haven't had any 134A apart from in the uh, cars like that one and that one there's a little bit of it but not much and the lady who gave me the Nissan Micro wants some metal grills so she's already put her name on these <laughs> so I'll pull these off and give them to her the metal weld metal uh, fan grills so she can have them uh, the rest of it well who knows anyway thanks for watching just thought I'd give you a bit of an update on what's happening Correct. Right.